Welcome to World Drum Club. In this episode, two very common double bells, the Gankogui and the Agogo. All right, let's get started. First up is the Gankogui. It's a double bell from West Africa. It looks like this, and it's spelled like that. And you can find out more about the history and the background of the instrument and the traditional uses by looking up the terms Ewe and Gahu. All right, for now, I'm gonna show you how to play it in a general way, a general sense, and a couple things, just uh, safety factors. Um, this can be very sharp, this side, so don't set the Gankogui down where somebody could actually trip and fall in it. Don't put it on the floor like this, don't set it down like that. Uh, set it down on its side, all right? Um, it's a big, heavy bell, so if you're gonna transport it or store it with other instruments, make sure they are also made of metal. Don't mix your metal instruments up with your shakers and rattles. Uh, wood blocks may be okay, but I like to keep all of my metal stuff separate because some of these instruments um, can do a lot of damage to your softer instruments uh, and things like shakers and rattles and that kind of thing. So just a tip for those of you who are transporting and storing these instruments. Holding the Gankogui, I like to hold it like this, just sort of pinch it uh, with your pincher grasp, your little crab pincher, and hold it like that between the two bells. If you try to hold it like this, or if you have a child or younger person or a person without a lot of hand strength, trying to hold it like this, it could slip out very easily. And that, if it lands on a foot, it's not gonna be fun. So help people play the instrument safely and effectively by showing them this technique. You've got two bells. So you're gonna use a little stick like this. This is a timbali stick. You can use a smaller stick. This just happened to be sitting around, so I grabbed it. I don't recommend full-size sticks like this for children. Um, I think they don't need that much of a stick and it's kind of like, you know, they can poke themselves or other kids if they're walking around with a big stick like this. So give your little ones um, half size sticks. You can cut these in half or use some circle sticks um, if you can still find those around. All right, so I'm going to hold the, the uh, bell like this. I'm going to play it on the face of the bells with my stick. You don't have to play it on the mouth of the bell. you get a really good sound just by striking on the face of the bell. All right, so that's about it. You just play your patterns. Uh, one tip is that if you hold it at a slight angle like this, instead of holding it up like this, this way you have to kind of go around I have to go around the bell to play the bottom bell. So if I hold it at an angle, I can play both fairly comfortably. All right, and I'm gonna cover the same kind of concept when we get to the Agogo. So that's your Gankogui bell, uh, West Africa, double bell. They come in different sizes. Uh, interval, common interval between the bells is gonna be a fourth, tritone, fifth, minor sixth, and sixth. You can find these with uh, smaller intervals and larger intervals but I think a fourth or a fifth is a great place to start. These are not necessarily tuned to specific pitches. If you wanna to try to find one on specific pitches, go ahead. You can look around, try a bunch out, and maybe you'll get lucky. Uh, but these generally are not tuned to you know A440 or standard pitch. All right, let's move on and look at the Agogo. The Agogo is a double bell from Brazil. We use these in Brazilian music, in samba, capoeira, other kinds of Brazilian music. Um, it looks kind of like a double ice cream cone holder, as one of my participants told me once in a workshop. Um, I know this is a chrome instrument. It might be uh, picking up some of the green screen and showing the background through it. It's okay. It's not, and nothing weird is happening. It's just part of the video process if you see that. So it may or may not happen. Um, we're going to play the Agogo with a short stick. I'm going to use the same timbali stick that I used for the Gankogui. This one, instead of holding it this way with the bells facing down, you're going to hold it with the bells facing up or out. I'm going to hold it like this with the bells t um, turned slightly, not this way, but slightly at an angle so I can get to both of the bells easily. If I hold it like this, like that, I've got to play kind of up and down this way, but if I tip it, I can play it both bells this way. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so here's what the bells sound like. And you'll notice the interval again, a fourth, a fifth, a tritone, a major third, something like that would be typical. 
Now, a lot of bells you get will be springy and you'll be able to clack them together. If you get a fixed agogo where this is stiff and they don't clack together, those are usually made for mounting on something like an orchestral setup or a drum set. Those are a little bit different. Typical agogos should be able to be squeezed together. And we're gonna incorporate that sound while we play the agogo. So as we play notes, We're gonna clack them together in between those notes and it's gonna give it a whole new dimension and make it really fun. So that sounds like this. So one, two, a one, and ta ka ta ka Okay, so all you need to do to do that is just squeeze it together, practice a little bit. It'll come naturally after a while. Don't worry about it. Just play and play and play and keep doing it. And before you know it, it'll be automatic. Uh, one final thing, as you hold the instrument, you can mute the bells a little more by placing your finger on the bell or gr gripping it more in your palm. To get a muted sound, a shorter sound. If you want that open ringy sound, just hold them farther back. and you get a lot more ring and openness. Just a matter of taste, depends what you like. All right, you guys, this has been a video with two bells, the Gankogui, the Agogo. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and visit me at patreon.com for even more, patreon.com slash Kalani. If you're not a World Drum Club member, please join. Become a supporter of the show, become a member. That's the way we keep this thing going, all right? Thanks a lot, you guys. Go out and make some great music.